Hello everyone, it's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. I'm excited today to do initial thoughts and unboxing of this pen. Um, I bought this pen from Amazon, scouring Amazon. They had a really good deal on this pen. I don't know if that deal is going to still exist. You can also try, excuse me for the sniffles, you can also try um, Amazon Japan as well to see if you can get this pen at a really good price and given the exchange rate, it might be worth your while. But today I have a Pilot Custom 92. Um, I saw this on Carrots and Olive's channel. Brittany was undoing a boxing a few months back. By the time you see this video, it will have been probably a few months ago. Um, and I liked this pen because I like flat finials like she does and Pins and Tea, I think also is a fan of flat finials as well. Um, so I went ahead and looked and I was able to find this at a, like I said, a really good price. I, I think I got like 30 US dollars off of this pen. So it retails right around, well, actually I think I got less, more than that. It retails right around, I think 200 and I think I got mine for like 120 or so. And I'm going to see if I can take this off. I've got tape everywhere on this package. Hold on just a second. A little bit of AMSR and struggle to <laughs> get said tape off because they just did a ridiculous job. And I think I'm going to have to just go ahead and cut into the package here. Just for the sake of time. Um, I just do it this way so I don't cut myself. And so I decided to go ahead and pull the trigger because I really do love flat finials, which is why I this year went on a little bit of a rampage with Sailor uh, Pro Gears, um, which I'm pretty much done with Sailor Pro Gears for a while. Um, the channel will be probably next year less focused in on buying new fountain pens versus exploring the ones that I have given my collection is pretty much almost complete for now. Of course I say that and then something will catch my eye in 2023 and I'll feel like I need to get that as well. <laughs> but it probably will get curtailed quite a bit. So um, here we go. Plain cardboard box. Nothing um, exciting about the packaging which is good very eco-friendly with it just being a plain cardboard box and then we get into um, a nice plastic coffin for the pen nothing exciting there either and then we've got the literature uh, with the type s fountain pen and uh, the filling instructions on how to fill it and i think this is the warranty information and um, I'm still not fluent in my Japanese, so I'm not even going to try to pretend to read that. Um, and then here is the pen that I, I got on this. And because, let's see if we have got anything, and there's nothing underneath. So we will take this and put this underneath. And yes, it's fitting a little wonky in that box, but there you go. Um, I should do a uh, video on all the pilot pins I've collected over the last several years because it's quite the collection now. Uh, let me see if it slides out. Nope, it does not. So, open that up like that. And, all right. I'm excited. <laughs> Oh, I love flat finials. I can't believe how much I like flat finials. And I really do like the fact that this is um, a piston fill, so I don't have to worry about the um, Pilot Con 40 converters, which as you guys probably may not know, but if you do know, they're really, really tiny. Um, but this is a piston filler. And I like the clear demo nature of that because I do like to see my ink sloshing around. I bought a medium fine nib because another thing that I am trying to do with some of my pilot pens is vary the nib um, and get a variation in the nib and this is a 14 karat gold nib and it's a number uh, 10 nib or the number two size nib for for pilot but it's absolutely stellar all right 
So let me just dip this in a little bit of ink and do a really quick writing sample with it. I have here on the side a little bit of a Jacques Herbon, um ink sample from Goulet Pens. And I'm kind of looking around because I want to find my little tiny shot glass so that I don't have any spill issues. But since I can't find it, I'll just use a roll of washi tape because I really just don't want to knock it over. Um, and let me go ahead and grab two types of paper. I've got Rhodia here. I'm gonna come back out here like this a little bit and I've got my um, excess cuts of Cosmo Airlight paper. So we'll start with the Cosmo Airlight first. I think since it's the smaller of the two, I'm gonna dip this in the Jacques Herbon ink sample and just see how this one writes in a fine medium nib. And I might have to re-dip it again so let me just put that in there. And this does post um, pretty securely, but I didn't have it on secure, so I'm just gonna make sure it doesn't go fling, flinging off here. And hopefully you can get paper as well as pen. So this is the Pilot. Oh, this writes like a dream. Custom Heritage. 92. This is a fine medium nib. I'm loving this nib. Okay, let's do how wet is it with that ink? Not bad. And I still want to make sure I'm in frame here. I'm going to do a little bit of a color in for this ink. A nice soft blue ink. Nothing too exciting, but I just want to see what it writes like. The ink is Jacques Herbon, and I think I said this was, oh, sorry, it's 1670, gotta have that year in there. And this is Blue Ocean, B-L-E-U, Ocean. <laughs> this pen <laughs> is a phenomenal writer. So I would highly suggest that if you don't already have this pen, consider adding it to your collection if you can, because it's really, it's a really, really nice writer. Okay, let's do the quick brown fox. Okay, so that's what this ink sample looks like on Cosmo Airlight paper. Let's try it on Rhodia. And I will try to open it up to a blank page. All right. So on Rhodia paper, let me just come back out a little bit. This is the Pilot Custom Heritage 92 and medium fine. Sorry about that. A little bit drier on the Rhodia paper than it is on um, the Cosmo Airlight. Let's just do a really quick sample here. I also like using the Rhodia paper just because it is a whiter paper and not a cream color. Um, but it does write very smooth on both of these papers. So if I had old Tomo River paper, which I actually do have, um, I've got a pad of it. And I've got some of the old notebooks I ordered from Galen Leather before they switched over. Um, I'm gonna probably really like it on white paper. But this actually does write really, really well. And here is the inks, uh, the writing sample on Rhodia paper. 
So my initial thoughts are I'm really glad I bought this pen. I think it's a steal of a deal um, for the cost that I, I got it for. I, if, I, if you can get this pen for under um, 120 bucks or right around 120 bucks versus paying 220 for it, I say grab it if you can do it. Um, otherwise, uh, <sighs> Live vicariously through me who has it and others who do. Um, but that's it for today. Two thumbs up for this pen. Um, if you have any questions, please leave comments below. If you're a new subscriber, thank you for stopping by and checking out the channel. Stay tuned. I've got new exciting content coming for 2023. I've got some plans uh, for this channel uh, to help uh, make it more interesting, hopefully, to everybody and keep people um, interested and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for sticking with me through this year i really do appreciate it and i wish you guys every uh possible bit of happiness in 2023 as we end out 2022 and good health and good fortune for the years ahead until next time take care bye